Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's Sneakerhead in the Bay and I'm coming at you with something crazy. A couple days ago, I was sleeping, you know, just doing my thing, resting my head on my pillow, and I got a knock on the door. When I opened it, I saw a huge package, didn't know what was inside, so I decided to unbox it because honestly, you know, I was being woken up, so I felt like it had to be worth it. Well, it was definitely worth it, but I wish I got my initial reaction on camera. This was not planned at all. This is not like a paid endorsement or anything. I just want to show you guys what I got and how crazy this package is. Before we get to that though, I wanted to let you guys know about this hoodie in case y'all were curious this comes from a canadian brand showing mad love to the kid apogee toronto so if you guys want to check out their site they have a whole bunch of dope minimalistic pieces that are very high quality i will have their link down below in the description and you can also use my code s-i-n-t-b to save yourself some money on any purchases on their site make sure to check them out because they got some really nice stuff like look at this it goes all the way up with that zip on the hoodie oh yes yeah, son anyways let's get right into this video i don't even know what to call it but this is what came in the mail in this huge box and like i said when i was opening it i had no idea what it was until I saw the logo on the top we had the 4SC on it so I knew it was from the good people over at Under Armour like I said this isn't a paid endorsement or anything like that they literally just shipped this out and surprised me so I have no background knowledge on this or anything like that and I have to kind of do my research to figure this out so essentially what this box is is a humidor if I'm not mistaken a humidor is supposed to regulate the humidity within this box it'll play into what's inside in a little bit but before we even open this let's just look at the detail and craft craftsmanship of this box. It has a nice dark stain to it. We have the 4SC logo crafted with the gold on top. We have these nice little gold handles on the side, Under Armour logoing, and we also have some latches holding the box together. When it comes to craftsmanship and all of that, I really like to see what's going on and figuring stuff out. And I believe this one is handmade, which makes it a lot more special in my opinion. It's not just like a machine churning these out. It's like people put their effort in creating this box right here. But anyways, let's pop this thing open. Are y'all ready? Let's start off with the contents of this box. So upon opening the lid, this is the first thing that I saw and I was like, yo, this thing is crazy. One of the first things that caught my eye was this right here. I had to go straight to it. So this is a Cuban cigar from Habana, Cuba. And this was really just the icing on the cake for me. I feel like Under Armour went all out when they just provided one of these. I'm not a smoker or anything, but I just, I like the attention to detail. To go along with the Cuban cigar, of course, they included the cigar cutter and this one is branded with the Under Armour and the SC logo. For the non-cigar smokers out there, all you do is you go like this and you're supposed to chop the end right here and that's basically how you get it started. It also has an extension right here which I think is used for a golf thing. It's a multi-purpose tool. I don't remember what that one was for. Under Armour also included a cigar holder right here that makes a dope noise when you open it. Let's do that one more time. I love it. And of course we have a quote from Steph Curry that reads, we got what's ours, we back baby. We also have a black curry hat and a couple little letters, which I will read right now. What a difference a year makes. After falling short in 2016, I turned that moment into motivation and came back stronger. What an amazing journey. That setback led to a greater comeback and I don't want to let this feeling go. The curry for the cigar and the hat are all symbolic of that moment when we reclaimed what was ours. It was refreshing to hold up that finals trophy on Warriors ground. I'm taking this vibe with me into this season and focusing on what's next. And I want to accomplish a lot more this season, more fun, more rings, more everything. Hopefully we're doing this all again next year. Here's to more blessing, Stephen Curry. Number 30, baby. And then on the next one, it reads, to stoke that championship feeling, we've included a hat, inscribed cigar holder, a Cohiba Behike cigar, and a cigar cutter that doubles as a divot repair tool for golfers. As a bonus, this box functions as a real humidor for ideal cigar conditions, which should be stored at about 70 degrees Fahrenheit and 70% humidity. So that is why this whole box right here comes in a humidor. It goes along with the theme of the cigar. The cigar aligns with the theme of, you know, winning and celebrating. And I believe that this is a crazy concept. I gotta give this one to Under Armour. This is one of the best packagings I have seen in a while. I think it's time to lift this up. I was watching Jacques Slate review. I did not see the box that he got come with this laser inscription. 
This laser inscription basically shows the whole mock-up and inspiration of the Curry 4 model. I thought this was pretty cool because I have no idea what this pack would be considered. I'm pretty sure this pack wasn't any of the retail pairs that released because a lot of them that I've seen did not come with this laser ink. It did not come with the cigar. It did not come with the cigar cutter. And the other ones came with stamp socks and all of that, which I did not get. So this one might categorize as something else and the others were extremely limited. I don't even know what to call this. But anyways, let's look at the shoes. They come in a nice black velvet bag with the special logo, of course. And here we have it, the black Curry 4s. When I first looked at everything, I was confused because this was a pack and I wasn't sure if I got the white pair or not until I looked at the lid of the box. If you flip this around, there's another wood paneling that is being held by little magnets within and it is hiding the white pair. All right, y'all, so it's official. We have the black pair and we have the white pair. With the addition of the white pair, we can finally call this a pack. These are coined as the championship packs or the more rings pack. The release date for them was on October 7, 2017, and they only released in a few locations. One of them being New York, one of them being the Bay Area, another being in Chicago, and only a couple places online. If you guys haven't seen my review on the More Magic Curry 4s, please watch it. I talk about the uppers, how everything is constructed, and I also give my overall criticism of this sneaker. After watching Jacques Slate's video, I really liked how he was able to talk to Curry, and Curry mentioned that he was there for every single step of the process when creating this Curry 4, which really sets it apart from the other ones because he was actually able to give his own inputs, alter things based on his life and preferences which I thought was extremely cool of Under Armour to do. This white pair goes ham because they added the nice little gold speckles on the midsole and the gold speckles within the outsole. I really feel like Under Armour is on the come up. They seem to know what they're doing. They are starting to limit their pairs and hyping up their sneakers a little bit more, which is awesome in my opinion. After looking at both of these pairs, I'm gonna have to pick my favorite one and I'm gonna go with the black version. For some reason, black and white always looks the cleanest to me. I do like white sneakers, but I know how I am with them. I just can't keep them white. They're gonna get paint on it. They're gonna get dirt on it. They're gonna get something on it. But this black pair goes super hard. Let me know which ones you guys like in the comment section down below and also let me know what your favorite part of the packaging was for me it had to be the craftsmanship of the box if they got curry to actually sign the box or sign these sneakers that would have been the icing on top but it's all good under armor this is just coming from me to you keep doing your thing keep killing it i love to see what y'all are doing and i can see the improvement and changes that y'all are making so don't think that it goes unrecognized. And I also wanted to thank you guys for supporting me because if not, this would not be possible. I truly appreciate it and love each and every one of you. I will catch y'all in the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. I said I'm driving Mercedes. My window's not tinted, they look at me crazy. I ride through my city. I talk to that bitch like, look what you made me. We came from the base.